Hi, Amanda and Jesse. So great to meet you. Hey, Patrick. Hi, Patrick. First, congrats on both Boys Day and Girls Day. I got the chance to see this at the beginning of the Sundance Film Festival, and it, it was tough for any other film to compete with this because I loved it so much. Uh, I wanted to first ask, what made you decide to go back and make this companion piece to Boys Day? Um, in fact, we almost made Girls Day first, um, meaning that even while we were making Boys Day, we were we were thinking about this film. I mean, it felt like we we, we had to make um, uh, make this film. Um, we um, we have two teenage daughters. We're, we think a lot about um, how young women are um, experiencing this political moment, and um, we knew that you know these programs are gender segregated. And we were always curious, like how how are the girls doing politics? How are they building a democracy from from the ground up? Does it look similar? Does it look different? Um, we didn't want to film two programs at the same time and then do a kind of sh shotgun comparison where we sort of cut them together and. So we, we, we made Boy State, it was successful, which was amazing because um, it felt like a huge risk, but um, it gave us the motivation, the encouragement and, and the support to go out and begin to develop Girl State, which we called a sibling, not a sequel. Mm -hmm. That was important. And we gave ourselves permission to fail. We, we were terrified that we couldn't live up to the, the, the expectations of, of Boy State. And um, until we actually started meeting these young women in Missouri, did we think we could actually pull it off. Well, and that's actually the next question that I had with, and Amanda, if you can answer this for me, what was the, what was, I guess, the casting process like in this? How early did it start? And were, were there like auditions? What was it like? We started really early. I mean, that's something we learned from Boy State is <laughs> finding the people who you're going to follow through this crazy experience is critical to whether our film works, but also, um, yeah, to, to 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 give ourselves time to get to know some of the people that we're going to be filming with through the process. Um, we also have the advantage of more time this time to give to talk to as many of the kids head of the program as we could. We really did talk to hundreds um, and many of them were fascinating conversations, but only a few really of the kids it did it make sense to go to the next step of filming with them in person at home um where you learn even more about them we were looking for kids who were politically driven uh ambitious knowledgeable passionate all the good stuff a lot of them had been te uh, debate champions that kind of thing um, or in student government but also kids who were confident enough with themselves and who they were and to, to share their emotional journey with a camera. And that's really not everybody at 17. Um, and so I think the people we found were diverse enough in their background uh, and in their politics to sort of be all of those things and be different enough from one another. Our station this month is doing remarkable women segments showcasing women in all different facets. I wanted to ask you too, um, what would, if you were to think of, uh, what would you define remarkable women after Girl State? What would you say? I mean, I, I think there's so many examples of, of w what make women remarkable in this film. There's not, you know, one single scene or one single girl, but uh, I think in particular, uh, the resilience of a couple of girls in our film who suffered defeat and, and how they pick themselves up and pivot. And that's hard to do. It's hard for me. It's hard for adults to do. It's hard for me to do. And they they've risked themselves. They've put themselves out there, and 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 they've been knocked down. And I think that is. Uh, and they're seventeen year old, you know, girls, and and they're hard on themselves, and yet they they do incredible things in this film, and they inspire us adults, and they show us a politics that feels healthy. Um, which is hard these days. We see so much that feels unhealthy in our body politic, in our democracy. So much conversation is corrosive and they're willing to listen, to engage with people whose views are different than their own. Um, I, I think they, they really are together, a, a, and there's seven of them. They're very different and they're different politically too, but they, they are a, a model of, of exceptional um, women. Amazing. Well, if if they didn't have an age limit for Congress, I would be swapping everyone out for these people. So again, thank you so much. <laughs> a wonderful documentary. Thank you. Yeah, thank thanks you. a lot. Thanks, Patrick.